Every now and then, there's some cool exoplanet modeling studies that give hints and clues as to how or where life might exist elsewhere in the cosmos. These modeling studies are not exactly hard proof of alien life. That's not their purpose. Rather, these modeling studies help us to simulate certain conditions so that we can make informed estimates. These models can help give insight on planetary dynamics, like climate patterns, tectonic activity, and even the potential existence of life. These studies can refine our understanding of planets and give us ideal places to look in our search for alien life. Recently, a study was published that found that uh, other exoplanets could potentially have biosphere environments more conducive to life than those found here on Earth. The researchers used a piece of software called ROCKE 3 d which was developed by NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies, designed specifically to simulate the climates and the ocean habitats of various types of exoplanets. By analyzing the data and identifying certain patterns, they found the particular types of exoplanets that have the best chances of hosting life. The research was led by Dr. Stephanie Olson, who gave a keynote lecture at the Goldschmidt Geochemistry Congress in Barcelona. Dr. Olson said, quote, NASA's search for life in the universe is focused on so-called habitable zone planets, which are worlds that have the potential for liquid water oceans. But not all oceans are equally hospitable, and some oceans will be better places to live than others due to their global circulation patterns." Unquote. This is a pretty big part of their conclusions, these, uh, these ocean circulation patterns. When she talks about this, Dr. Olson said that, quote, Conditions on some exoplanets with favorable ocean circulation patterns could be better suited to support life that is more abundant or more active than life on Earth." Unquote. Here's an extended passage from her recent keynote lecture. Dr. Olson said, quote, Our work has been aimed at identifying the exoplanet oceans which have the greatest capacity to host globally abundant and active life. Life in Earth's oceans depends on upwelling, the upward flow, which returns nutrients from the dark depths of the ocean to the sunlit portions of the ocean where photosynthetic life lives. More upwelling means more nutrient resupply, which means more biological activity. These are the conditions we need to look for on exoplanets. We have used an ocean circulation model to identify which planets will have the most efficient upwelling and thus offer particularly hospitable oceans. We found that higher atmospheric density, slower rotation rates, and the presence of continents all yield higher upwelling rates. A further implication is that Earth might not be optimally habitable, and life elsewhere may enjoy a planet that is even more hospitable than our own. There will always be limitations to our technology, so life is almost certainly more common than detectable life. This means that in our search for life in the universe, we should target the subset of habitable planets that will be most favorable to large, globally active biospheres, because those are the planets where life will be easiest to detect, and where non-detections will be most meaningful." Unquote. I think Dr. Olson makes a lot of good points. You know, she's bringing a very good insight, one that I think will help future astronomers. And one day, it'll help exploring xenobiologists. I'd also like to point out that in my videos on the potential for life on various planets and moons in our solar system, I mention this ocean circulation and upwelling as being a critical component of any life-bearing ecosystem, like the ice-encrusted oceans of Europa or Enceladus. This is all really fascinating stuff. The research material is an awesome combination of exoplanets, their ecology, their geochemistry, and at their nexus, where all of these phenomena overlap, you have the potential for alien life.